Hey yo, it's Mary here. Forgive if my background is noisy because I have background characters in my back doing some business things. So anyway, I just want to make a quick update video just for this first part. I'm working on a new video which is the sub 700 subscriber special where I draw your OCs in my style. And that's gonna take a while since I'm in a different place and I'm kind of taking a mini vacation for all of the chaos that has happened in the past months. So the 700 subscribers special will come up. But for the meantime, I will just uh, pop out short and sweet quick videos just for me to consistently upload, you know, because if I or even just stop doing it for a long time. I'll just get lazy and just forget about it. No, I don't want to do that, okay? I'm not all about that anymore. So, what are we gonna do right now? I'm at this point... I'm at this point where I don't know what to talk about. I mean, I, I want to talk about something, but I'm not in the mood to, you know? So, I don't know the title of this video. So, I genuinely have no idea what the outcome of this video all i know is that i'm doing a fan art of siege wine from genshin impact so let's transition to that i genuinely love her design her design is like cotton candy cute style and her, she her theme is bubbles i love bubbles and i love her gameplay i mean you know i would pull for her if i was still playing I used to play Genshin a lot before, like the first time it came out, I was already playing and I was I genuinely enjoyed the game. It was fun. The story was alright, but the gameplay it was it was enjoyable nonetheless. I was a genuine fan before, but now I'm struggling to find the time to play games such as Genshin. Cuz, you know, I it just it's a lot of time. You ha really have to invest like time for it like building characters like artifacts i feel like that's i mean i'm too lazy for that honestly and it was just i was i this was a genuinely fun game yeah and like looking back like it's fun getting five star i love venti venti i used to obsess over venti and Xiao. i just really enjoyed the wind one the wind element what is that called i see i forgot already nah animo I have to talk I have to ask my nephew about it. I'm like so forgetful now. Oh my gosh, it started raining heavily. Also oh, anyway, let's get back to see Juan. So I decided to just draw her again because I did draw her before for a merch thing. I planned to sell on a art market thing and I she was the first one that I wanted to draw and wanted to print out. And I'm now worried because my friend just recently said that Sijuan is not that popular. I'm, I'm, that makes me sad. That makes me sad for two reasons. Because she has the best design and I really like her. And my print won't, might not sell well. So that's kind of worrying. But you know what? I think that's fine. I don't regret drawing her or ever printing her. If no one likes to print, then that that all shall be mine, you know, more for me then. So about the art process, before this simple illustration, I made a quick sketch. And I decided not to go with that sketch, not because it's it looks terrible, but because the art process of doing that, it was just not enjoyable. My mindset was not in an art mood. And I was like, I just wanted to get over it. And and to me, finishing that kind of art, it's just like, it's just not fun. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to make a completely different sketch. And I'm going to make sure that I'm in a very artsy mood, you know? In a very fresh mood not just like oh, i'm doing art because i have to or because i need to finish one or make a video about it I, no i don't want that i'm not all about that so i'm starting over making a new sketch that i really like that i enjoy i'm just understand that this is going to take time because that's a problem with me that's the reason why i i don't like that sketch because i was trying to quickly finish it as much as possible and because i was rushing it I was more stressed out and therefore I got lazier. So 
So I'm super glad that I took the time to just redraw the sketch and just change the pose. And I did it in the more simpler art style that I have. I have to admit though, I was still kind of lazy making this art. And you can tell. I, I don't know. If you know me enough, I guess you can tell that it is kind of quick and fast art because I did a bold line art, which I really don't usually do that. Like, I'm not saying when doing line art is like a very lazy thing to do, but my process is different. Obviously, other artists has a very different process when making art. But for me, um, whenever I do a watercolor style or a children's storybook style, it does really, it's a chunk of time, like a lot of time whenever I do that style. Especially comparing to this style that I'm doing right now, like a simple digital, di digital, digital art style, like a clean one, like you know the normal ones. I usually don't do that because, I'm not trying to be mean here, but it's not my f favorite thing to do. But you know, it's the easiest, it's the fastest. So it's not like I hate it. It's just like not not my top favorite. But I still do appreciate that kind of clean digital art. I still like it, but not that much, you know. I'm, I'm still gonna do it because I already explained myself. You know? I don't wanna keep repeating! I will definitely make a separate video of how I do the watercolor style, the classic children's storybook style that I did in my previous videos, like the, especially the Klee one. Someone asked how did I did that, and I would love to explain that. I just want to mention that it's really ironic for me because I love line art. I, I, I've mentioned this a thousand times already. Line art is my favorite part. And even though that's my favorite part, I absolutely adore making lineless art style, which is really weird. I just love the, the result of a lineless art style, but I love the process of doing the line art. So even though that my art style especially the previous one the old one it's uh it's a lineless i still heavily dependent on the line art part but now i'm going to start making more thicker and more defined line art i'm like, sorry i just I, like oh my gosh <laughs> as i was saying i want to start trying to do more bold and thicker line art you know with those line weight things the fancy line weight stuff and one of the big reason why i started or desired to do that is because like i mentioned before i it's my first time doing or selling art or doing the merch thing and i think it's just more more reasonable to do that bold line art style because it's like a merch art style do you know what i mean it's like having a defined line art or a thicker line art it's more better for selling merch i hope you understand what i'm trying to say i'm sorry if my words are jumbling right now the background characters are kind of noisy and it's like 1 a.m and i haven't slept properly since i arrived in this place so forgive me so yeah, I want to try doing the bold line art, you know, for merch stuff. But then of course, I'm still going to continue my usual art style with the lineless and watercolor style. You know, I'm all about that traditional texture, applying it in digital. <laughs> so I plan to draw Nahida and the other Genshin characters if I find the time to. I don't play the game anymore, but I do adore some character design in that game and it's actually a good practice when you're drawing a Genshin character like they're very detailed and you just have to like figure it out how to get by on those details and I and I find it it's a good practice you know so yeah I think I'm going to end the voice over here and moving forward it's going to be just music so I will see you next time mm -hmm.